Hi guys, Jed Walters here. Uh, welcome to my review of this little thing in here. This is the Power Package from Power Package Golf. Um, and I've spent some time over the last few weeks testing it out, hitting some shots with it, trying to get a feeling of what it's about and whether or not it's something that would be worth you guys investing in. So, what's it all about? What do we get in a box? So, if I was just to open the box up here, what do we get? So inside we get a nicely packaged and protected item. Um, and the power package itself is, a bit noisy to get out, power package itself literally is this here. So it's bright orange in colour, uh, it's got a clasp with a screw so that we can attach it to the, the shaft a little bit above the grip. Um, it's a little bit tight to get on and the thicker your grips are, the more tape you've got underneath them or if you're into sort of mid and jumbos, you might have to sort of wrestle it and wriggle it on a little bit. Um, but it's nice and secure, which is very, very good. Um, we've got these two arms, they're fairly sturdy plastic, um, so they are quite strong. And then we've got these two cups here at the top. Now. You can see how the shape is a little bit different in there and again if you have a little look at the, uh, the all round view um, it is a it's, a it's a nicely well designed item uh, which needs to go on the golf club in a specific way uh, because it'd be, what we've got to do is we've got to get four arms to be caught in the cups so the idea behind it and this is claimed to be the number one training aid on the tour at the minute. Um, there are quite a few guys using it from Phil Mickelson to Tommy Fleetwood um, and if you see some social media posts you'll see those guys using it out on the driving range as well and getting some uh, some feels. Now the idea behind it is to get your forearms to be caught by the cups um, in four key areas of the swing. So we want it in, as we can see now, in the first parallel for the shaft to be parallel to the ground. From there you want to try and keep the connection between the cups and the forearms right through to the top of the backswing. Then as you make your downswing you want to try and maintain that connection again right down to shaft being last parallel to the ground. Um, and then from there make that rotation through impact hitting the shot and in the follow through you want to try and get your forearms again to catch the cups and into the finish. So is it something that can work for you guys? Um, yes I think it can work for a lot of people it's like most uh, training aids depending on what you're working on depending on what you're trying to achieve with your movement patterns from your limitations and how you're working with your coach if you're working with a coach um, it is something that you can find useful for certain areas it might not be something that you would take all the way through those four key areas. You might already have some of those areas in place anyway. Uh, but it is something that could help you tighten up. I was quite impressed with it to be fair. Um, it's quite difficult to get used to the feelings um, straight away. So me personally, I'm not a, an immediate hinger of the wrists. So I don't really set the club upwards as early as uh, I felt I needed to when I was using this. Um, but it was nice to have that feeling of connection up to the top of the backswing. It really helped me with a feeling of getting the club a little bit more parallel at the top as well uh, because anyone who's seen my golf shots uh, my swings uh, I've always had a tendency for the club to get a little bit beyond the parallel uh, I think it grows from growing up really and using clubs which are a little bit too long a little bit too heavy um, so at the top of the back swing all the weight at the far end of the hands so it was difficult for me to maintain that position at the top again probably something growing up years ago when we didn't really have all the good quality junior equipment that there is out there now um, so it's something that I have always sort of had in my swing never really thought about changing never thought of being really an issue um, but it's it was interesting how using the power package that helped me get it a little bit more parallel or short parallel at the top of the backswing um, it also then gives you that really good feeling and sensation of maintaining the, con the connection between the left arm or lead arm um, left arm for me is a righty um, and the shaft as well so maintaining those wrist angles which was really good um, so that at the bottom we can deliver a little bit more speed a little bit more power as we're turning through um, I found it really difficult to try and get that connection uh, re-established in the follow-through. Um, I think really you need to have a little bit more of a, of a rounded, a left wood for a right-handed golfer um, exit. So the exit got a little bit more around the swing. Um, at times I caught it, other times I didn't. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if I worked on that as to whether how that would feel as you're going through. But again, it, it always 
gives something to work on. That's what I found really interesting about it. Um, it's something that wasn't sent to me, by the way. It's something that I paid for. Um, it was um, $69.99. Um, I can't remember the website that I got it from, but I will put the details in the description um, below the video. Um, so, uh, is it something that I would recommend? Yes, I think a lot of people can get a lot of use out of it. It comes both right and left-handed. I think it comes in a junior one as well, which is great for, for youngsters to get those feelings ingrained a little bit easier and a little bit earlier. Um, it's something that's not going to be something I would say to try and hit all the positions because the human idiosyncrasies and the limitations that an individual might have. Um, what you might find is if you're trying to do something that you can't quite achieve, you might just go stare crazy and, uh, and, and start putting other, maybe some bad habits into your golf swing. So it'll work for some people on all of it. It'll work for some people on little bits of it. But it's definitely something that if you were thinking about getting uh, a training aid, something to work with to get a few feelings, maybe something that will translate into what you're trying to do with coach, if you're working with a coach or if you're just trying to sort of fly by yourself and, and work a little bit around it. Is it something that's worth investing in for 70 quid? Yeah, I think it's definitely worth having a little go at. Um, if you want a bit more information about it, visit powerpackagegolf.com, which it says on here, and that'll give you a little bit more in-depth uh, information about what their design is, um, what they're trying to achieve with it. Um, but yeah, like it, really good aid. Uh, first of many, training aid reviews, uh, I've got loads which I use uh, in my studio. So I'm gonna go through and review them all. I'm gonna post one once a week. Um, if there's any training aid that you were thinking of and you'd like to see a review on, post your comments in the box below to hear your thoughts on whether you've thought about this, whether you've been intrigued by it, thought about getting it, wanted to try it, wanted to know more information about it as well. Um, as I say, any other training aids that you've thought about, have used, would like to get more information on, post comments in the box below. If you like the video, give it thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do so just click the subscribe button um, down there below and uh, look forward to seeing you guys again next time thanks for watching